So I think the first part in terms of uh, supporting our students and assuring them is to letting them know that they're, they're our first priority. And I hope that they can see it in the effort that we put into not only the moving process, but all of our services in general. We're doing on-site COVID testing. Uh, we're trying to make sure everyone is six feet away from each other at all times. We're requiring masks in the residence halls at all times. The second point is to remind them that all that we do is for them, whether it be assigned dining halls, assigned times, whether it be all of the, the back support that you don't see of the custodial facilities and maintenance teams, uh, keeping things clean, uh, and fixing uh, hot touch point areas, and really ensuring that when students come in, they know they feel safe and they know they're coming into a secure location. Moving is very different. Uh, it used to be just one day, everyone moved in at the same time. Now it's, we've kind of split it up into three days. And so the first line of defense was really the, the touchless check-in through vehicles. So separating the campus by east and west, allowing students to come in at different time slots, allowed us to manage the density on the campus and within each residence hall and with, on each floor. acknowledging as my mother would say that they're dropping out precious cargo and we realize that and we accept that responsibility. When you drop them off to have faith in all the years and time that you put in there getting them ready for this for this moment. Just looking around and seeing the effort that we put into and our ability to answer questions and address concerns before they even arrive uh, would give uh, I think should give parents the, the know-how that we've been working on this and we're ready to accept that student and support them throughout this academic year. As you look around, notice that this is a community effort. And as we move our we go forward, it also means us playing our individual roles, wearing our masks, washing our hands, keeping each other safe, and knowing that whatever we move forward, we move forward together.